how you doing again just because I did another video and all I brought it up I'm gonna do a video about it right now just to get out of the way it's called shadow banning it's a fascinating aspect of the technological war that's going on with good and evil good and bad right and wrong the balance of the universe right now the programming is controlled by the bad guys flat out that's how we're, we're dealing with it. The good guys are, it's basically, it's really cool how much this has really turned into look like a Star Wars show. Because you have the Rebel Alliance, which is basically anybody that just wants to be free, doesn't want tyranny, doesn't want to be labeled, doesn't want to have to be grouped into a hate thought process. You're the you're the you're the outsider. You're the rebel alliance. And then there's the conformists. There's the the psycho liberal Marxists who just want to control and label and detain and talk about um, internment camps for the unvaxxed. You know the 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 ones that don't take the snake bite. I mean these are all things that we're battling today. These are all and and shadow banning is a, a very effective psychological tool because what it does is it keeps your see I'm a I'm an American and we have these constitutions, Bill of Rights, blah blah blah, first and second amendments, you know. And my you know the fact that my, your voice is being stifled is just bullshit, but on top of that Americans are used to not having that kind of restriction on their voice, not like a communist country like Russia or wherever, or China, where you can't, in China you type what you want, next thing you know you gotta knock at the door and you're in jail. In one of their concentration camps, by the way. So, yeah, we we're dealing with the technology, and as an American, I'm used to being able to, and normally our laws protect us to the point where, like right now, I'm being censored. I have been with Facebook for years, which is why I just finally dropped Facebook. Like I said, I couldn't do, it took me 10 minutes to download a 10 second video and I couldn't do I couldn't do like what I'm doing on YouTube. I couldn't do it at all. I literally I had one of some of my first videos are on Facebook that I did. I mean, but I have all my paintings and all my poetry and all that stuff. But this was before I realized how evil it was. And I'll talk to you about that real quick. They got so bad on Facebook. I would wake up. Imagine waking up in the morning on your computer. Da, 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 it's a beautiful day. You're looking at your feed to see what's happening with all the people, all your people that you know are your friends. I had like almost 5,000, by the way. I like got up to 450, and I just kind of dropped off on that. I don't know why they limit you to 5,000. But anyway, so <laughs> I got dropped off a little bit. You're looking to see all your friends, people you know, and artists, and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, I get all this really, really horrific shit on my feed. Like uh, an African woman and her son being executed. He's, what, 10 years old? He's on her back, and they have some soldiers, and they just shoot her. Shoot them. So I just witnessed a murder of two people in a span of a second because YouTube thought or Facebook thought that was an interesting video that I needed to see first thing in the morning. It's psychological warfare, people. They want the fact that these videos are being posted, uh, like the video of that guy beating the shit out of his wife in Pakistan or wherever. You tell the dress and everything, but he was kicking the shit out of her, kicking her in the head. I'm like, why is this on my feed? I'm an artist. I post paintings and poetry. All my friends are artists. So why would I be getting this horrible, horrible stuff on my feed? It's psychological. It wants, not only do they want to stif stifle your voice, but they want you to think the world is a horrible place. And in some instances, it is. But you're not. And that's what they want. They want you to think that the world is. And they want you to be unhappy and unsafe. That's why all these people, all these scammers on YouTube are getting away with what they're getting away with on Instagram and everything. Because, I mean, I have readers that are constantly posting things, telling people, warning them about scams. How are these scammers getting away with after? And this and it's funny because these readers are like, dude, I've told them they they basically report these scammers and they don't get away. They get away with they don't put them down. So it's like literally they're getting away with stealing people's stuff and and it's like it's all the bad shit that's going on is allowed, but anything good is being stifled. If you have something negative to say about a politician and they don't like what you have to say, gone. This is no longer a free America. Like, I don't even know how many people are even going to see this. Honestly, I have videos that people will never see. It's what it is. It's called shadow banning. That's how that works. Facebook did it at first. I didn't understand it at first, but I had so many friends and fans that when I, not fans, but you know what I mean, friends and people that were, you know, looking at my stuff, 
commenting that all of a sudden I would get no likes and no views on anything. I'm like, you got almost 4,000 friends plus and nobody's seen any of your stuff. And I started asking people, are you seeing any? Of oh yeah, when I go to your page. I'm like, no, I mean, nothing's getting out. But I don't know that because as far as I'm concerned, it's showing up on the page. Yeah. So that's how shadow banning works. You think it's going out, but you're basically you're basically yelling at a brick wall, or you're you're sending pictures out, nobody's seeing them. Or so yeah, this is shadow banning, and it's it's going on with YouTube. Uh, you start up from the beginning. I mean, because I, I it brought I mean YouTube, and they're all connected. So they all Google, they all know who I am. So I'm, they all. If you go to my if you go to my Facebook page, Robert Keith, by the way. And you'll, you know, look at my face, you'll see it. And all the paintings and stuff. If you if you read what I've posted over the last, what, 10 years or so, obviously I'm not a fan of establishment. I'm not a fan of globalism. I'm not, I'm not, and the weird part is being, uh, being the emperor of the universe as I, you know, claim to be. My job is to be um, neutral. Kind of like Switzerland, but not s scumbags. I'm actually supposed to be a, not just neutral, but I'm supposed to be for everybody, not against anybody. So if I see somebody being wronged, I'm supposed to write it. I'm supposed to correct that. That's not right. But there's a lot of horrible shit going on in the world and needs to be corrected. And it's slowly getting there. People are starting to get tired of the, the tyranny. And that's all it is right now. It's technical tyranny. And that's what shadow banning is all about. It's technical tyranny. So... And you'll know if none of your friends are like what 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 are you doing? And, you know I'm not seeing any of your stuff anymore. But yeah, like I said, if you've read all my stuff on Facebook and you saw the stuff I was talking about, I mean I've talked about some really really crazy stuff. Like I said, I'm researching it, I'm reporting it. I don't even know half of the stuff, whether what's real or not. But you, it's not about belief. It's having the intellect to consider a thought, but not get attached to it, right? personally or emotionally that kind of you're just you're uh, it's like Spock you just want to be logical in your anal, you know analyzing of the situation or the thought or the the idea that somebody's presenting and you you can you make the choice of whether you agree with it or not that's basically what it comes down to I mean, you're not given a lot of this freedom anymore there's no a lot of freedom a lot of it's taken away if if you can't see my video right now then you don't have a choice to decide whether I'm full of shit or I'm, you know, I'm making you think. I'm getting your synapses fired, right? So you're getting your, you know, you're on your way to being enlightened and finding your way in the world. Like I said, it's a scary thing, man, to be born and then to have to rely on people half the time are toxic and and not unhealed, and and you got to find a way to heal yourself and realize you even need to be healed. It's a tough gig, babe. So. But yeah, that's what we're fighting. Keep that balance. So again, let's like the last video. Use your energy wisely. Keep your thoughts positive and love yourself most importantly. If you love yourself, you're going to be in a higher vibration. So you're going to think happy thoughts. And when you do have a negative thought, you're going to squash it like a bug, right? You're going to say, no, that's not me. I don't think like that anymore. And you're just going to, you're going to wax it. It's going to be gone. And that's how it works. So <sighs> shadow banning. See if this even gets out. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you. So have a wonderful day.